Unseen to the naked eye the secrets of our past lie within us, in our DNA, specifically, in the Y-chromosomal haplogroup E1b1a. Imagine if you will, a hidden trail of breadcrumbs leading back through time, marking our journey as a species. This trail is embedded within us, in our genetic material, and it's called a Y-chromosomal haplogroup. In the vast world of genetics Y-chromosomal haplogroups are like ancient manuscripts, they contain the stories of our ancestors, the places they lived, the people they encountered, and the legacies they left behind. And one of these intriguing tales is that of E1b1a, a haplogroup that holds the key to understanding a significant chapter of human history. Now you might be wondering what exactly is a haplogroup? Well in simple terms it's a genetic population group of people who share a common ancestor on the patrilineal or matrilineal line. In other words, it's like a family tree that traces back thousands, even tens of thousands of years. Specifically, the E1b1 a haplogroup is a major lineage marker within the larger E haplogroup, which is believed to have originated in East Africa some 65,000 to 73,000 years ago. Today, E1b1a is most commonly found in sub-Saharan Africans and among the African diaspora making it a vital piece of the puzzle in understanding the history and migration patterns of these populations. But why is this important? Well, understanding our genetic makeup not only helps us unravel the mysteries of our past, it also gives us a sense of our place in the grand tapestry of human history. It reminds us that we are all connected, bound together by threads of DNA that reach back to our earliest ancestors. So as we delve deeper into the world of E1b1a, Remember that we're not just exploring a genetic sequence, we're journeying into the past, tracing the footsteps of our ancestors and uncovering the fascinating stories that they've left behind in our DNA. In the world of genetics, the E1b1, a haplogroup, is much like an ancient manuscript waiting to be deciphered. Imagine the Earth thousands of years ago, the cradle of E1b1a was taking shape. The E1b1, a haplogroup, an important branch on the tree of humanity, was being born. But where did this significant lineage originate and how can we trace its roots? Let's delve into the fascinating world of genetic history. The E1b1 a haplogroup, part of the larger E1b1 group, is believed to have originated in East Africa around 41,000 years ago. This estimation is based on the study of genetic mutations, the footprints left behind by our ancestors. When a mutation occurs in the Y chromosome, it gets passed down to subsequent generations. By studying these mutations, geneticists can estimate the age of a haplogroup, essentially tracing the lineage back to its atom, or most recent common male ancestor. For E1b1a, this atom lived in sub-Saharan Africa, a region known as the birthplace of humanity. But how do we know this? Well, it's all about the mutations. Each mutation or marker gives us a glimpse into our past. The E1b1 a haplogroup is defined by a specific set of these markers. When we find these markers in a person's DNA we can say with confidence that they belong to this haplogroup. It's important to note that while we can make educated guesses about the origin of sublineages, such as haplogroup E1b1a1, the exact location remains a topic of debate among geneticists. Some propose a West African origin while others suggest a more Central African birthplace approximately 39,000 years ago. Regardless of the exact birthplace of this widespread sublineage, the E1b1a1 haplogroup holds an undeniable significance in human history. The E1b1a haplogroup at large is the most common Y chromosome haplogroup among men of sub-Saharan African descent, making it a vital piece of the puzzle in understanding our collective past. So there you have it. The E1b1a haplogroup, a lineage traced back to the heart of Africa thousands of years ago. A lineage that tells a story of survival, migration, and evolution. From the heart of Africa, E1b1a began its journey destined to leave a significant mark on human history. As the world evolved, so did E1b1a scattering across the landscape and shaping populations. The journey of haplogroup E1b1a is a saga that stretches across millennia and continents. Born in Africa, this genetic marker began its voyage, moving with the ebb and flow of human history. As people migrated, traded and interacted, so too did E1b1a, embedding itself in the genetic fabric of societies far and wide. Let's begin in Africa, the cradle of E1b1a. As communities grew and moved, they took E1b1a with them. Mighty empires rose from the ancient kingdoms of Mali and Songhai in the west to the great civilizations of the Nile in the east. 
As these societies expanded so too did E1B1A spreading across the continent like an invisible thread weaving together diverse peoples and cultures. The paths of trade also played their part, the Trans-Saharan trade routes, the bustling markets of Timbuktu, the spice-laden Dao ships plying the Indian Ocean, all became conduits for the spread of E1B1A. As traders ventured forth they carried not just goods, but also their genetic legacy. However, not all journeys were voluntary. The dark chapter of slavery saw millions of Africans transported to the New World. Shackled and torn from their homelands, they carried with them the indelible mark of E1B1A. Despite the unimaginable hardships, they survived and so did E1B1A, finding a new home in a distant land. Today E1B1A can be found in populations across the globe, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the human spirit. From the bustling cities of Africa, to the vibrant diaspora communities in the Americas, the Caribbean and beyond, E1B1A continues to shape our understanding of human history. As we delve into the depths of our DNA, we unravel the stories of our ancestors, the trials they faced, and the journeys they undertook. We discover that we are not just shaped by the world around us, but also, by the invisible threads that connect us to our past. The legacy of E1B1A etched in our DNA tells a tale of resilience and survival against all odds. Scene script, fast forward to today the story of E1B1A continues to unfold. As the centuries have passed, E1B1A has not remained confined to the African continent. The winds of history, often gales of colonization, slavery, migration and exploration, have carried it far and wide. Today this haplogroup is prevalent in populations across the globe, particularly among individuals of sub-Saharan African descent. In the Americas, the legacy of the transatlantic slave trade is etched into the DNA of many African Americans, Afro-Caribbeans, and Afro-Latin Americans who bear the E1B1 a haplogroup. In fact, studies suggest that up to 60% of African American men carry this genetic marker, a poignant testament to their ancestral roots. Across the Atlantic and Western Europe, E1B1A is less common but not unheard of. This haplogroup has also made its way to the Middle East and even as far as India, carried by the currents of human migration and intermingling. But E1B1A is not just a historical marker. It's a vital tool in modern genetic studies, particularly those related to health and disease. Researchers are investigating the potential links between this haplogroup and various medical conditions, from prostate cancer to hypertension, that disproportionately affect people of African descent. This haplogroup also helps trace the ancestry of African diaspora populations, offering individuals a deeply personal link to their forebears. Through the lens of E1B1A, we can understand the paths our ancestors walked, the trials they faced, and the resilience they embodied. As we delve deeper into the genetic code, we're finding that E1B1A isn't just about where we've come from, it's also about where we're going. It's a living, evolving story of human history, written in the language of DNA. As we decode this language, we're gaining insights into our collective journey, from the dawn of humanity to the present day. In every carrier of E1B1A, echoes of our shared past resonate, connecting us in ways we are only beginning to understand. As we stand on the brink of a new era in genetics, what does the future hold for E1B1A? We find ourselves in an age where the mysteries of our genetic heritage are gradually unveiling themselves. The E1B1 a haplogroup, a key component of our genetic tapestry is no exception. As we advance, the future of E1B1A like all other haplogroups will undoubtedly be shaped by two key factors, advancements in genetic research and the ethical considerations that accompany them. Genetic research has made leaps and bounds in recent years. With the advent of technologies like CRISPR and other gene editing tools, we have gained the potential to manipulate our genetic code at will. This could mean that the future of E1B1A and indeed all haplogroups might not be left to the whims of natural selection alone. We might have the ability to consciously shape our genetic destinies. However, this power does not come without its challenges. The ability to edit our genes raises a slew of ethical questions. If we can control our genetic future, should we? And if so, to what extent? These are questions that we, as a society, will need to answer. The future of E1B1A, and indeed all genetic heritage, might depend on how we navigate these ethical quandaries. Moreover, as our understanding of genetics deepens, the narrative of E1B1A could become even more intricate. We uncover more about this haplogroup. We might find links to aspects of human history and culture that we never anticipated. 
The E1B1 a story, like all human stories, is a living, evolving entity, shaped not just by the past but by the unfolding future. Yet these are not mere academic questions, they touch upon the very essence of who we are as individuals and as a species. Our genetic heritage embodied in haplogroups like E1B1A is a testament to our shared journey as a species, it is a testament to our resilience, our diversity and our shared humanity. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of E1B1A we are left to ponder. What other secrets does our DNA hold? If you enjoyed this journey through our genetic past, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to keep up with our latest content.